Hello, in this video I would like to introduce uh, Hydro MPC to you, especially the CU352, our control unit that is installed on the Hydro MPC. The functionality of the Hydro MPC is basically exactly the same as it is with the Hydro Multi-E. If you need more information on the parts that are installed in a booster system or on how a booster system works, I recommend that you watch the video about the Multi-E because here we will only focus on the controls of the Hydro Multi-MPC. So here we see the CU352 which is, we could say, the brain of the Hydro MPC. It's the intelligent control which offers a lot of functionality, for example, finding out the most efficient point of using the pumps, if it makes sense to use one pump or multiple pumps for flowing. We have a multicolor display here. We can see the scheme of the boosting system. Here it consists of three pumps showing if they are in standby, ready to operate, showing a green sign if they are faulty, showing a red sign, or if they are running, the green circle will start to spin. We get some basic information on the main screen. For example, the set point, here the two bars, and the actual measured value. In this case, we have a fault on the system. One of the pumps, pump number two, is losing communication every once in a while. Just a quick introduction on how to operate the system. In the topmost line we have four values that we can select. It is status and by pushing the right arrow we can switch to the next, which is drift. Then we go to alarm and to settings. Pushing this button again brings us back to the status window, which is the main window that we see. If we want to change a value, we can use the up and down buttons to select in a menu. For example, if we go to the settings menu, we can go down and up and by pushing the right button, we go back to the status bar. If we want to change a value, for example, the primary, um, primary controller, we choose it by pressing OK. We can then again select what we want to change and again select by pushing the OK button. Oh, we have a back button, so we can go back one level with each push. If we want to go to the home screen immediately, we just push the home button. If you're in doubt about the functionality or what you've seen on the screen, then you can just push the button with a question mark and this will bring you to a help screen and explain what you can see. Again, the back button will take you out and the home button will take you to the standard monitor. What we can also see in this installation is a communication module, the CIU. This is the housing for our communication module, the SIM module. In this housing we have installed a CIM270 which can connect to our remote management system. We also have a SIM card installed so we can create a phone connection to our Grundfos remote management system. Therefore, we can also see this antenna, which provides the connection to the wireless network. 